Bismillah, in the name of God. Okay, this is a response to debunking various scientific facts in the Quran. Um, number one is I would like to point out first and foremost um, the approach that he's using. Um, of course, he's just uh, trying to discredit and just make ridicule and make fun. That's pretty much what people can do. Um, it's really interesting. There's there's a hypocrisy there that they call to reasoning and proofs and scientific facts. Yeah, when it comes to it, all they can do is ugh, 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 which translate into. I mean, need I say more? I think the the the, the viewers can can kind of talk about that um, critical thinking. Uh, you're attacking me on that. I think you should take your head out of the clouds and try to correctly think to the things that I'm talking about. I'm giving you examples of linguistics, I'm giving you examples of usages, and you're telling me, ugh, ugh, ugh. English translation says this, and then I tell you, read the next verse that talks about it. You say, and then you give me a list of 10 or 15 almost verses, which are we're gonna take only about a few because <laughs> they got ridiculous when I start looking at them. But let's check it out. So we talked about the smoke and hot gas. Well, actually, my friend, if you actually go to the uh, scientific books and you can research this, the theories of the origin of the universe, how stars are created, how planets are created, it is gaseous components, hot gaseous components. Amongst them, there's particles uh, that will sediment, as you said, but that's after the formation of certain other planets and gives a rise to new planets. Okay the origin of the universe. The universe was in a hot, malt, uh, gaseous state at the beginning before planets were formed, before stars were formed and so on and so forth. So please get your facts uh, straight. Um, let's move on to the earth and sky to get Egyptian belief. Um, you know, I mean, please bring your proof. I, people just say, oh, this is a belief of so on and so forth. This is a belief of so on and so forth. If you go to court, right, if you go to the court of law and you start going, well, sir, I think these people are ridiculous. This is wrong. Um, you know, I'm accusing this person of, you know, being, you know, wrong and ugh, ugh, ugh. That's all you can give him then. Then the judge will laugh at you and tell you, you can leave. Or you're accusing people, oh, Egyptian people, you know, believe this. If you look at the context of verse, right, it talks about the heavens and the earth when they're one as a um, hot gas, is Dukhan. Uh, the, the the parts of the heavens, they were Dukhan. Um, you know, the, the other verse that I told you to look at, right? Do the unbelievers not see that the heavens and the earth are one joined together? Not in the original state, right? We're talking about the theory of singularity, uh, what science, uh, you know, refers to as the theory of singularity. Um, get your facts straight. Right, you can't just go like, you know, ridiculous, ridiculous, look at you, ridiculous, critical, be critical, don't stop, you know, using this. I'm giving you my proof, I'm giving you a rational explanation, linguistic explanation, all you can do is, ugh, ugh, ugh. this, this talks about. Um, so please make sure, you know, you, 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 you talk properly, right? Uh, now let's look, the Arabic dictionary, and I'm, I'm going to put the link there so people can go and check. If you look for universe, universe can be the whole and encompasses if you type it's a noun okay all existing things including the earth and its creatures and all the stars planets etc okay and it's uh, dunya uh, alam kaun uh, and many other words which have no uh, sama in it now if you type universe Okay, if you type heaven or sky, okay, then you find sama, one of the words. If you type heaven, if you type sky, then again you find sama. Okay, so please I'll post the, sorry I don't have all the technology to put it on screen, but I'll post the link of the dictionary. So type heaven, type uh, sky, and type universe and see what you get. So please, if you don't, how can you talk about something you don't know? What kind of rationale and critical thing is that? you come in and say no but look universe and then if you go to your tafsir link you find that it's heaven it's not universe okay so please be careful with that you talked about hadith being ridiculous you talked about magic i gave you the pragmatics of the word usage okay if i tell you 
something is poisonous for me I'm not talking about drinking a liquid poison as you're demonstrating in your video right it's the pragmatics of language if I tell you I'm smoking is poison for you and I post a link on the article that dates will protect you the antitoxins and the dates will protect you for example against secondhand smoking against pollution which are all poisons magic listen do you have any proof against magic no you don't do I have any proof to give right now no I don't so let's just leave it at that right now we can get into a debate of magic later on okay what uh, proofs there are for it or whatever you want to call it what they call it, want to call it voodoo and other things you want to go into uh, you know uh, forensic cases of, of, of magic and voodoo and ma uh, cases that have been recorded into the police uh, uh, you know history about you know so-called magic incidents and voodoo and other things that are happening in Jamaica for example uh, and other places then uh, you know we can talk about it uh, till then you know let's leave it because you have no proof are you saying magic magic oh this is ridiculous what kind of magic magic ridiculous genius genius all you're thinking about is like of the Aladdin gene right you know again genie is a whole different things okay? it's called gin it's not genie right is gin is another creation like humans they have rationale they, they're just different physical creation that's part of our belief in terms of the proof well you know and that's something that again we can debate and we can look at uh, uh, you know it would be a whole lot of you know issues but look at, for example, the existence of USO, UFOs and extraterrestrials, right? So many people believe in them. So many people try to prove them. There's proofs, you know, I'm, I'm not saying there isn't and not. But, you know, you can't just say, oh, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. How can you say, you know, there's UFOs and, and extraterrestrials and, you know, ETs? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Going back to your critical thinking that you're prompting me to do, you wouldn't just say, ridiculous 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 right you would actually start thinking about things start looking giving proofs and so on and so forth um, going back to the earth being flat you talk about obvious errors you say it's freaking flat it's flat well um, I gave you the, the reference and we looked at the verse uh, surah I think you mentioned 4111 right if you look at it it's in relative to where you're standing, right? If you look at it, the earth is flat. That's what it's talking about for us to travel. Mountains were put into it, roads were built. It's not round. You don't, you know, fall off it or, you know, stumble off it, right? It's flat. You can travel to it. That's what it's saying in reference, okay? Um, you quote it, uh, Surah 18, verse 7. So I go to it. I have my little Quran here. I go to it, Surah 18, is Surah Al Kaf. Verse 7, Verily we have made that which is on, uh, is on earth as an adornment for it, in order that we may test them, as to which of them is best in deeds. Nothing about flat earths. You know, it shows your scholarship and your level of scholarship. You probably just typed in in Google, got a list from some guy who doesn't know what he's talking about, and just started regurgitating it. Okay, let's, maybe it's by mistake. Let's go to another one. Surah 19, Surah Maryam, verse 7. Allah said, O Zachariah, verily give you the glad tidings of a son whose name will be Yahya. We have given the name to none before him. Nothing. Go to a verse before, verse after, whatever verse you want. Nothing about flat earth. Well, let's move on forward. Verse 20, Surah 21, verse 30. Have not those who disbelieve know that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one united piece, and then we parted them, and we have made from water every living thing. Why? They not then believe, addressing the disbelievers. Nothing about flat earth. I thought what I talked about the initial thing when things were together. Then look at that. It says, Do they not see that everything was created from water? If you look at things, there's a constitution of water in everything that you might know from science, right? The cytoplasm of every cell has living things. It talks about living things, cells, cytoplasm, about 70% or more is water. Again, a scientific proof from the Quran towards you know its scientific uh, competence. Uh, I can go through the other verses. Um, I'm, it's quite clear though that you don't know. I can take, for example, another one here, uh, and that's I think Surah 35, verse 40. Uh, Say, O Muhammad, tell me or inform me what you think about the so-called partner gods to whom you call besides Allah. Show me what they have created on earth. Or have they any share in the heavens? Or have they given a book so they can act on clear proof? Nay, they are dolly mean. Promise one another nothing but delusion. 
a thing about flat earth again.